I just want to put things in perspective because a lot of times, well, one of the most popular topics to discuss nowadays is the rising homicide rate. And yes, the homicide rate is rising. And it started last year during the COVID epidemic early on in 2020. That's when the uh, homicide rate started to rise and it's continued to rise up until now and it's continuing to rise. New York City, for example, had 2,000 murders in 1992, and that was actually 130 murders less than 91. And um, in 2020, New York City had 500 murders, just to put things in perspective. So when, they, so when you hear people say that the crime is actually rising, they're not talking about in relation to 30 years ago, 25 years ago. They're talking about as far as the 2000s are concerned. New York City, as a big city, actually became safer after 9-11 and remained safe. And it kept their homicides pretty much under 500 throughout the 2000s because they updated their security and, a, and an entire security apparatus of the, of the city benefited from the fight against terrorism. And uh, so, yeah, so in 90, 91, in 91, you had 2,100 2, homicides in NYC. 2020 you got 500 right at 500 now Chicago on the other hand is one of those cities that has remained high you know they never had they never really experienced the trend that most cities have experienced most cities that used to be really really bad became less bad in the early 2000s like in the 90s they had high homicide rates like Philadelphia for example they had very high homicide rates throughout the 90s. Then when the 2000s came, the homicide rate went down. But Chicago is one of those cities that actually stayed or increased at the same level. So Chicago has always, even in the 2000s, it was just as dangerous as it was back in the 80s and 90s. You know, And this year, in 2021, Chicago has surpassed 1,000 homicides. You know? And this is the first time that they've surpassed a thousand homicides in, in years and years and years. And um, a lot of people want to know why. Why are these cities, why did these cities, why were these, these cities that were so bad? Like Philadelphia has over 500 homicides. My city, Richmond, I live in Richmond, Virginia, we've got 70 homicides. And, that, and for us, that's like a huge increase. You know, but we're like a small city, so, you know... And we got these neighboring counties, suburbs, so well, we, we like that's that's you know that's a lot for us. So people want to know why? Why is the homicide rate rising so much? And the reason is gang violence. You know the reason. I mean, I know that sounds like a simple answer, and I know that you probably wanted a more complicated philo philosophical answer, but it's just that's just the reason why. I mean, the reason, and the reason why I say that. It's not a typical answer. It's not a stereotypical answer because gangbanging hasn't been a wasn't a problem in every single state in every single city. You know, back in the '90s, gangbanging was a regional thing. Only certain cities gangbanged, and the gangs that came from California and Chicago, they might they only migrated to a few places. You know, in their existence from like the '70s to the '90s, they only migrated to a couple of cities. So there wasn't this widespread gangbanging throughout all 50 states. Now in 2021, gangbanging is a norm in every single state. It's normal to create to have gangs. And not the traditional gangs like Bloods and Crips or whatever, but each particular state may have their own local gangs, their own independent gangs that which that, that basically you got cliques that have taken on the behavior of gangs. And you can't be in a gang without having a rival. And I think that the rap music has become a lot more violent. I think rap music is more, you know, it's more interconnected with gangbanging now. I think that rap, back back in the days, you know, gangbanging and rap was kind of like a niche. It was a niche audience. It was a small part of rap. You know, a lot of people really didn't even like gangbanging rap music. That was something that was like, it was like NWA, West Coast rappers. And the whole country really wasn't feeling that. But now the entire country is feeling that. The entire country is... The people who like modern day hip-hop are supporting this whole new love of gangbanging. So I would say that gangbanging has has seen a revival. And I, and I would say that gangbanging has actually become a, a trend in states and in cities that have never had gangbanging before. 
and I would say that rap music has pretty much accepted gangbanging, which is something that it never did before. You know, rap music has never really 100% accepted gangbanging, but now it's the norm. So, you know, yeah, you know, one thing that I find interesting is just looking up the homicide rates of my city, you know. And generally speaking, the homicides, even though they're saying that the homicides are rising in most cities, they're not as bad as they were back in the 90s. They're saying that these homicides are bad in comparison to the 2000s time frame. So, yeah, you know, hey, all of our cities are getting more violent. There are more homicides occurring in our cities. And you got the gangbanging aspect, and you also have the domestic violence murder aspect. A lot more people in relationships are killing each other now. And the reason is because a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of couples feel like they have to get weapons. They feel like they have to get these guns in order to protect themselves from home invaders and robbers and threats. And then they end up killing each other with that gun. So domestic violence murders have, have, have risen, risen tremendously and gang, gang retaliation back and forth. Because, you know, when a gang, I get the whole gang thing... When somebody dies, that's not the end of it. Somebody, you know, there's going to be retaliation, then there's going to be another retaliation, then there's going to be a retaliation for that. So it gets, like, ongoing. So, yeah, the reason why people are getting killed more isn't because of drugs or anything like that. It's gangbanging and it's the increase in domestic violence homicides. Stay safe. Peace.